About time. Now that was something. Soon we eat. Nasty, just nasty. The world is clear. Hold position. house belongs to mother as you belong to us we shall start with your juicy entrails then slowly savor your delicious brains are the rest of your mother's children so chatty thankfully no Walk in the light. Danke. Better every day. I feel more like myself every day. Like that since ever. You will suffer for that. We may not be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. Yes. Surrender. Be eaten. Fill our belly with your tasty fear. I'll fill your belly with my plank, demon. You have earned this!
some on me. Mother blesses us with power. Mother blesses us with strength. We protect the blood. With your meat. And to think Lilith was a vegetarian. Centuries ago. Child, I feared the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them to fear me. Remarkable how well Hydra manages to attract new recruits despite decades of ineptitude. Being 
friendly. Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <coughs> What happened to you? That's part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but... Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. We will rip your face off and suck the marrow from your bones! Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? <laughs> Doc, that's just his way of saying he cares! Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall... I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Ah, of course! I see it now. The look! Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... The, the Sanctum? Or Wanda. She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. We'll talk more later. Get some rest. Not to be the nagging old lady, but I told you not to push too hard. That is... something. Ah, I see. Curious. Intriguing. That was a complete fiasco. And it would have been far worse had Spider-Man not arrived when he did. No kidding. Caretaker would have been pissed if Venom had actually eaten a hunter. Yes, one disaster averted. But we still need to figure out how to get Wanda and the Sanctum back. Yeah, we just kinda we just kinda fucking left her in the Sanctum. We didn't even try to get that in. Also again, this game is really fun. Um I'm, I've gotten more used to the fi the fighting mechanics, blah 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 shit. Venom looks so fucking cool, so it looks like they're called Fallen now, the ones that get controlled by Lilith. Seeing Spider-Man was badass. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there, with a little help.
Your support is appreciated. Oh, no problem. I already got a few ideas cooking. You're not allergic to mimetic poly... You know what? Never mind. Why spoil the surprise? I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. I assure you, there is nothing to fear here. Well, it's easy to say not to be scared of things that go bump in the night when you are a thing that goes bump in the night. I don't even watch horror movies, and now I'm living in one. Horror movies? Oh, you'll love them. Imagine a painting come to life. Moving, talking, telling a story, one that just happens to be pulled from your very worst nightmare. Or just stop by my room. Fairly certain there's one hanging there already. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. What? This is fucking cool, too. I, I don't give a shit, dude. I always like it when it, there's just, like, things like this or, you know, of course, talking to the characters in general where, you know, every character just hangs out and talks, you know. I say you know a lot. Like, imagine the fucking Doctor Strange and Magic just arguing in a text with Blade over this shit. Like, they're texting each other. Like, it's it's funny, but I still like it. And I still can't customize any of them. I cannot go to the customization for any of them, and that's annoying. Especially when some of them, like, again, I have, like, like the pre-order costumes. I'd even get, I'd even pre-order the game, and they gave it to me, which is awesome. But, um, yeah, I don't know why I can't do that yet, like, at all. Like, look at this. Nothing, nothing. That sucks. journal 
Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. We were all so happy then. See, wait. See, that's what I'm getting at. So, that's Agatha, Agatha. Like, Agatha Harkness. Because I'm, I'm Sarah is caretaker. Or did, and did Agatha, this Agatha turn into Lilith? And then Agatha Harkness is just not this character. Like, am I getting them both mixed up? There's never enough room for my arm. Oh, here we go. Never mind. <laughs> what the hell? Wait. Okay, at least I have it. I got to pay for it. What is all this, though? Okay, well, I'm not going to choose any of that. I'm going to choose at least these two. Um... At least this, you can at least see the symbol. I don't know why I have, I have a choker. Alright, and then, um, I mean, I really like the thing where, like, you're, you're literally playing Lilith's son. I can upgrade my room. Is this, like, one of those games where we could, like, still... I mean, it's open world, too, from what I've seen, so I'm guessing after the, we beat the campaign, we can also explore everything. Again, the shit like that is badass. What is this? Okay, I don't have anything of that. Holy shit! The line, the line. I can stop her, I can stop her. We were yeah, fighting with her. Agatha too. But first against the Lilith. Child. Charlie! I know, I know, I I missed you too. Let her enjoy the moment. She's been visiting your door every morning for the past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. I genuinely hope we get to see Agatha in a... Since clearly Hunter and Caretaker, you know, are uh, ha we're friends with her, I hope we like get her to team up with us. We'll talk more later, but for now, Stark has requested your presence in the forge. I think he has another present for you. I still love that. That's got to be J. John, J. Jonah Jameson.
Good girl, Charlie. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Next thing I know, the saint is here. Why, hello, Hunter. I don't get it. Strange couldn't just magic his way in? Something about the whole alien thing threw off his mojo. That explains so much. No wonder he gets so strange around me. See what I did there? I'm a vampire. I see everything. <sighs> this is gonna be a fun apocalypse. I see, I don't know, everyone's gonna be like, oh, I'm so tired of Avengers shit, blah, blah, everyone grouping together. We have plenty of games when they're not grouped together, and now we have plenty of games when they are grouped together. Either way, I like both, of course. It's still cool um, to me that, you know, they're all just literally hanging out here, like, even not even all in superhero clothes. coming up with something for the hunter? The hunter needs it after that last beating. Man, can't wait till it's my turn for an upgrade. Prepare for a long wait. For all of us. Or hasn't it sunk into that flaming skull of yours yet? Hey, don't take it so personally. It's not like they forgot about us. We'll see. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell, preventing him from incinerating this facility. Uh, I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly... changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your... siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing... Mm, yes, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. Still think I could have used a cloak. All right, I like the suit. And we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. I still think it could have benefited from a cloak. You think everything could benefit from a cloak? I do not. Oh, I've heard the things you whisper to your cape when you think no one's listening. Ah, oh, joys of sharing a workspace. And I'll have you know this cloak is going to see extinction on countless occasions. There you go, that's perfect. You know, the moon car at Bush, midnight. Okay, that works too. The star for Nova. Considers you something of a slob. You know, I have a great psychiatrist in the city. Maybe you should talk to him. Although, 
think he's working for Hydra right now. Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and, well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? You lost much yesterday, Doctor. I am the one who should be asking you how you are feeling. I appreciate that, Hunter. I admit I did not expect the child of Lilith to have the capacity for such empathy. And you're right, of course. I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired, the sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost, swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago. But I miscalculated. Lilith's power has placed a dark shroud over us all, Doctor. You are not alone in this. Your words are appreciated. Still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to become shrouded as well. It's not just the Sanctum Sanctorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was, is, my charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far. A creature on the roof. You have run into it before. Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, Venom is an alien species living in symbiosis with a human known as Eddie Brock. He's something of a fixture in New York these days, but typically his hijinks are confined to harassing Spider-Man. How does Eddie feel about this arrangement? He seems to relish the experience. And under Lilith's spell, they've clearly become more cohesive than ever before. A creature on the roof. Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, he's something of a fixture in the Sorry, I thought I could I thought I could like start skipping the dialogue that I've already heard so I could like ask the other questions. I I just do this last one. And then ask like one more question, you know. It sounds like Spider Man is Venom's nemesis. Maybe he has some insight. Of course. I have no doubt Spider-Man will prove to be an invaluable asset in the ongoing fight against both Venom and Lilith. How did Wanda come into your care? Wanda's story is quite tragic and perhaps not mine to tell. Mine to tell. There was an accident on the Abbey grounds not long ago involving Agatha. Yo! Also, again, though, I'm pretty sure one of the thing, one of her uh, backstories, she was again like the ch the child of Magneto. But I do know another one, like some shenanigans with a dark hole too. That must have been some accident. 
Agatha had been teaching Wanda, hoping she would learn to control her immense but very raw power. As their training progressed, Wanda was encouraged to push herself further. Eventually, she pushed too far. Let us talk later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. All right. What, wait, what's on the map? What is this? Okay, chest. Other people. Yeah, it's a really just talking to him. No new super links. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, that's enough for this episode, but, you know, next time we'll start with that one. Don't really have an outro of what, or what to say. But again, I'm, I, get, I am really liking this game. Uh, just like both Pokemon and Violet, even though they don't, like, let's look AAA and shit, they're still really cool. Um, Pokemon, I know I'm already going off topic, but the um, Nintendo and the Pokemon company, you know, sh shit like that, they are. They even. They even addressed it, and they are gonna try. Fi they are gonna fix. You know the bugs and glitches in Pokemon Violet and Scarlet, which again, honestly, some bugs. I. I feel like they should keep. It just makes the game more funny and cool, and how some people are just like super. Um, you know, nerd emoji about like the Pokemon games recently. They recently gotten better. Like after a po uh, the the Diamond and Pearl remakes. Like when it started with Arceus and now Violet and Scarlet. There's just so much character in both of those games, you know, and people are still finding like just a lot of enjoyment out of them. So if there's like those nerd emoji people that are like just gonna cry about every little thing, it's just like go play like I don't know, fucking Xenoblade, whatever shit like that. We all got our own taste, but I, sorry for being off topic. But either way, just like with that game, I am really liking this this whole game too. And I'm gonna continue playing all the other games too. I'm, I'm trying to beat every game that you know that I've been uploading.